going on, guys? And right here, this is going to be the AFC playoff picture. And I forgot to mention this last episode, but um, this is what happened. The Miami Dolphins went to Indianapolis and actually beat them. And the Chiefs uh, went to uh, uh, the, the other thing and uh, won as well. And um, right here, the New Orleans Saints beat the Dallas Cowboys. And Matt, who is the Atlanta Falcons, beat the St. Louis Rams. But, um, of course, we have a first round bye because we were one of the two top seeds in the AFC division. We went 12-3-1 and as our final record. And now we're going to be taking on the Indianapolis Colts. And Andrew Luck. And Luck is in the air, boys. Luck is in the freaking air. Right here, Dante Mancrief. Mancrief? Dante Mancrief? Right there. That's going to be brought down by Alden Smith. Alden Smith is just... He's a beast. All right? I don't call him karma like Katy Perry does. But, okay. Oh, my God. Look, look at the pressure. The, 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 the pressure. All right, remember that in your life. All right, that was Dan Williams right there, getting the nice pressure. All right, right there. That's gonna be taken out to the 41 yard line. This is Derek Carr. He's gonna drive down the field. You know why? Because he's a car. Look at who just went flying. Oh my God, I feel bad for 31. Did you just see that? He went flying over his own teammate, and then Kobe Fleener, who weighs you know a good 200 pounds, right? Or maybe a high 100 or two. Or a low 200. He just landed right on top of him. I mean, that, that looked like it hurt. But right there, Amari Cooper drops the uh, the catch for the first down. So we're going to have to settle for a field goal and only go up 3 nothing, which which does suck. Um, so this is going to be returned by Dorsett, who is fast. All right, this guy's speedy. Right there is going to be Marcel Reese with a freaking massive hit. And that, doesn't that want you? Doesn't that just inspire you to go outside and just go up to a criminal who just robbed some old lady's purse? Just go up to him and just broad kick him like Seamus. All right, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just just look up broad kick, broke kick, broad kick. I don't know. Just look it up right there. Look at Jerome Murphy. Oh my God, the slot or slot corner. He almost gets the interception right there. So he just got a sack and a pass defended in freaking two snaps. This is third and twenty. Andrew Luck is under pressure and he goes down once again. All right, that's sack number three. Sack sack number three. That's Trace. Trace. All right, we might. As well just call Andrew Luck Trey, Trey Luck because of the three sacks that we got him. And Josh Cribbs, that's the second game in a row where he's freaking muffed the punt. But right there, it's going to be Latavius Murray getting laid out. And I just realized that Robert Mathis, um, this is sort of a re re revenge game for him since he was on the Colts and he sucked against the Patriots because the Patriots are better. This is going to be Quincy Anua. I don't know what the Raiders and Patriots have to do. But look at Quincy Anua, the fourth string wide receiver breaks down the sideline. The big wide receiver or tight end hybrid it just goes the whole way down the field what an athletic player that guy is i mean i don't know i'm i'm i finished this season already in real life at the time of recording this commentary and i'm debating whether i should keep this guy or not i mean uh you know he's he's i don't know he's his overall is not good and he doesn't really do much but those plays like that i just he's He's over-reliable, all right? He's like Greg Olson, right? Look at Andrew Luck. Has all freaking day. Throws it under to Dante Moncrief, who is stopped short of the first down marker by Nate Allen. Nate Allen, the backup safety, getting getting the work done, my boy. Anyway, it's going to be Josh Cribbs trying to break a tackle for the life of him, and he cannot do so because he is getting old, very old. That is going to be... Um, uh, Excuse me, this is going to be... Uh, wait, 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 I'm so confused. But look at this! Latavius Murray breaking down the sideline to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. And that is a touchdown. And I just realized that this is the end of Season 1, not Season 2. So I sort of just spoiled it that Quincy Anua is going to be on the team uh, next year. But okay, I, I, I can definitely say that. He, he will be in the team on the next season, but I don't think he gets a catch at all, actually. I don't, I don't remember ever throwing it to him. Anyway, this is going to be Frank Gore. I just like... Trash, I didn't trash talk. What, trash talk? What the heck? I just sweet talked them, and then all of a sudden, it, okay. Anyway, third and eight is gonna be Andrew Luck firing it over to T.Y. Hilton, who gets stopped short. No, he get, does get, he does actually get the first down, even though the ball did not go over. Only his feet did. This is Jacob Tammy getting absolutely blown up, and just look at this game. How we just come in here and just start, just just the big hits. But every single one of these passes, that's the fourth pass in a row for a first down on this drive. And Andrew Luck is a man on the mission. And look at T.Y. Hilton. T.Y. Hilton is God. I just remember that whole meme. Meme City right there. He picks up another first down on a slant. And we're offside. So they're going to decline that and get down on the four-yard line, is it? So, yep, the four-yard line. Andrew Luck now looks back. He fires one over the middle. It's almost intercepted by Robert Mathis. What an interception that would be if he did pick it off. Right there, that's thrown wide of his intended target. Get third and goal. Andrew Luck is looking. He fires a strike to uh, Andre Johnson. I almost just said Calvin Johnson. And just like that, guys, they score a touchdown and they make the game a little bit more interesting because we were up 17 to 7. But um, 
Yeah, T.Y. Hilton is God. Do you remember that? I don't know if any of you have been around that long from my Eagles franchise from Madden 15, but what what a... Wow, what a what a game that was. Oh, my God. I, I'm just sad thinking about it. Right here, first and ten, fired underneath the Latavius Murray. Second and four, fired to Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper gets us the first down. First and ten. Uh, we're just throwing slants for days, baby. That's all we do. Right, that's Crabtree, and he picks up nine yards. First and uh, second and one, I mean. It's fired over to Kobe Fleener, and with 12 seconds left, we're just going to settle for a field goal because I always say this, but this whole season, we've been screwed out of points because I get too aggressive and just want to go for a touchdown. And then we get stopped short of the goal line and we run out of time and then we don't get the freaking three points But look at Frank Gore actually getting some positive yardage for once he's brought down by William Moore and now with one second left Andrew Luck Excuse me. I just ate dinner is looking deep and it is not caught. It was almost caught by Dorsett But it is he, he didn't catch it So we are winning 20 to 7 here and we get the ball starting the second half This is gonna be Josh Cribbs breaks a tackle and he gets down to the 21 yard line uh, first and ten, handoff Latavius Murray. He is going to go forward for a gain of four. Second and six, handoff Latavius Murray again. And Dequell Jackson is going to get called for a face mask. The former teammate of Robert Mathis, who I keep talking about for some reason. Um, he is going to get a face mask penalty. And there's there's no reason for that, man. You don't need to rip the rip my guy's head off. My God, you could have injured him. Look at the second and five. It's up to Crabtree, but it is well defended. Third and five. This is fired underneath the crab tree who on a curl route, and that gets us the first down. First and ten. Fired underneath to Latavius Murray. I keep salivating, and I'm sorry for it. This is going to be first and ten again, but Latavius Murray drops it, and just flat-out drops like those just make me mad. Crabtree pops it up in the air, and that was frustrating if that would have been picked off. Third and ten. This is going to be Andre Holmes pushing forward, but the refs actually blow the whistle before he ever... Uh, was down and we go for a fake field goal with Matt McGloin the former Penn State quarterback That's the only reason he's on this team and right there. It's an interception by Antonio Cromartie Returning to his younger days when he was actually good. This is gonna be Kobe Fleener here getting a nice gain of seven And yeah, Matt McGloin. Oh my god, dude. He just got bottled up in that fake field goal This is going to be Latavius Murray getting uh, the first down now right up the middle if he would have run straight forward That would have been definitely a uh, touchdown and he's going to jump over three, count them, three Indianapolis Colts. Look at this, one, two, three. He jumped over three of them. For some reason, they could not bring him down. They could not throw him to the ground. And what a very athletic play that was. Now for the two-point conversion to just make this game virtually impossible. We get it on a slant to Amari. That was also my Eagles franchise, except it was not Amari Cooper, it was Riley Cooper. Oh my god, what a hit from Marcel Reese, our fullback. Oh my god, our fullback is just killing people out here. We dive forward, and oh my god, Antonio Cromartie looking for his second interception. I mean, we go forward with Khalil Mack, but Antonio Cromartie uh, misses the interception. Uh, right there, Frank Gore alleviates seven yards, third and three. It, uh, pass is missed to Jacob Tammy, and just like that, Pat McAfee's going to come right back out and kick it to Josh Cribbs, and pretty much we're just going to try to run out the clock here. I don't see any chance of Indianapolis making a comeback. This is going to be Latavius Murray on first and ten with a nice gain of three. Second and seven, Latavius Murray gets a little bit of space. He tries to juke out the safety, but the safety played it well. First and ten, another handoff to Murray. Gets a nice chunkage of yards, a gain of six, actually. Uh, this is going to be Latavius Murray again on second and four. He gets stopped for only a gain of two, but right here on third and two, he gets what we need and a lot more. He almost breaks the tackle right there again, but... um. Uh, I'll just settle for the yardage that he got and look at the clock just run down guys We are wasting time as we hit the two-minute warning third and 12 We fired over to Andre Holmes again who just runs backwards and he's been struggling here a lot on this offense this entire year and we're gonna make the game 31 to 7 in a minute 33 left, but they do have all three timeouts So maybe if they can throw like three Hail Marys and then something I don't know this is going to be Jacob Tammy again, breaking a tackle from uh, Charles Woodson, being brought down by Antonio Cromartie. First and ten, fired over to Dante Moncrief. He is forced out of bounds. Second and seven, Andrew Luck steps out. He rolls around a little bit and is sacked by Khalil Mack, who gets in on the pressure. And we're just getting sacks for days in this game. And now look at Mario Edwards Jr. on uh, third and 17. And he gets a nice sack, and our defense has just been a mwah, perfect, as the Italian chefs say when they make pizza. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. All right, so first and 10, we're just going to hand the ball off. Second and 11 after a loss of one yard. Uh, 
makes it now third and six after that run. It's going to be Michael Crabtree who actually puts the ball on the ground. He put the ball on the ground, but after further review, you can clearly see that his uh, his end, his, his end was on the ground. <laughs> Why am I saying it like that? Um... Yeah, this team, this secondary is not very good, by the way. That's why Derek Carr just freaking grinded them off the face of the earth. It's because Matt, I think, got Vontae Davis or someone. Um, but that's going to be this game, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe after we just kneel down the ball. It makes it 31-7. to uh, Comment, subscribe, your veggies. Go to school. Derek Carr films out. Peace!